Well, it looks like we're about ready. Just got to get a few things uh, straightened out and loaded up, and then we'll be on our way. That about wraps up four days in Smoky Mountain National Park. Well, I definitely did more walking than image making. Uh, I think I covered a little less than 30 miles over the last few days, so that's good conditioning uh, moving forward to further adventures, and uh, hopefully we can keep making this happen. So anyway, Everything is loaded up. We're lighter than we were when we got here. Of course, we used a few things, uh, perishables, food, etc. And the only thing left to do now is to uh, jump into the old wagon and motor north. Well, I'll give you some idea what's going on. I have left uh, Smoky Mountain uh, National Park this morning at around 10 o'clock. And grab some coffee and I am now setting my sights on Mammoth Cave in Kentucky because why not this is going to be hopefully a opportunity to take the tour with luck I will arrive in time uh, to do that right now my ETA is looking at around 247 I think that's reasonable uh, right now I am on County 27 and I'm gonna be coming up on my first turn off this uh, county road in about two and a half miles I'm just letting my GPS do the thinking and I am managing these tight mountain road turns here we go into another one heavy on the brake just then. I just wanted to give you a look at this road. This is Pilot Mountain Road and I'm going to be connecting with uh, a 329 coming up here in about a mile and a half. My uh, introduction into this particular little stretch of road was a one-lane underpass. It looked like it had been there since the Roman era, which obviously not possible. There we go, last turn. Well, it is 1.35 p.m. Wednesday, and I just crossed into Kentucky. Short of an hour and a half, and I will be at my next destination, Mammoth Cave National Park. Set them up and knock them down. fit through. Um, also, as we are descending down these 280 stairs, you will be able to look over the railing and down into the pit full of sharp, jagged rocks. So if you are scared of heights, this also might not be the two. Not sure what all the fuss is, but I am on I-71 heading north. 75 miles from 
the intersection at 71 and I-75. I am assuming this is some sort of traffic accident up in the distance. I should be arriving at my destination in Mercer County in Salina, Ohio by about a quarter to midnight. I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, you've already experienced a little bit of hydroplaning. Uh, rain is really coming down. This is Cincinnati and my ETA has now been adjusted for 1.07 a.m. It is now 11.25, so adjustment is 1.5 hours. I should have taken a boat. Oh, there's a tug. Every time it hydroplanes, it tugs a little bit. And the trick to that is don't overcorrect, don't brake, and just take your foot off the gas. Yeah, it's really coming down. Uh -huh. 